gift ideas for the content creator or photographer in your life. Hey, what's going on? Hope you're doing all right. My name is Matt, this is Dwyer Creatives, and today we're going over gift ideas for the content creator or photographer or videographer in your life. And I wanted to go over this because Black Friday is coming up, Cyber Monday is coming up, Christmas is coming up, and if you celebrate any of those, well, hopefully you don't celebrate any, the buying aspect, but the whole getting together and giving gifts. Here are a few different ideas that you can get them that they would probably find useful because I know that I would. Now, these are kind of on a budget, so my idea would be kind of like stocking stuffers that you could do or something along that line. Nothing like a brand new camera or lens, but still things that I would find useful. I do want to mention that for all these products, I will leave a affiliate link down below in the description. If you do use them, they do support the channel and there is no added cost for you. I do really appreciate when y'all use that. Two things on top of that. Recently, I did pick up a new collaboration. I'm going to be working with Western Rise. Now, if you don't know them, they're a clothing company that kind of aim towards higher quality for a travel every day, just that minimalistic, you can only bring what you really need to and that will definitely take you that far. If you're interested in that, I do have a link down below. And if you use the code TACOPANDA at checkout, you get 15% off your first order. So Taco Panda is just my TikTok that I've been experimenting with. So that's how that ended up there. The second part of that, right? I did mention that I do have affiliate links, but you don't have to use mine. You can use another creators. I want you to support the people that you really want to support too. So if you do buy from these bigger box stores or online websites, make sure to use the affiliate links because they do support these channels. I know for myself and other small creators that every dime that we get from that goes straight back into the channel so that we can bring you more content. So again, if you do use mine, I appreciate it. But if you don't want to use mine and someone else's, as long as you're there supporting your favorite creator, I'm happy with that. Now that we did go on a little tangent, let's go ahead and put two minutes on that clock for Two Minute Tuesday. My first idea for your content creator, your photographer, or videographer in your life is gonna be a super simple one. It's gonna be a nice little notebook and a pen to go along with it. For me, this is just a notebook that my wife had that I ended up using. And then I've been lately really like using Lamming pens. Little things while you're out trying to create content. Hey, I need to remember this for this part or I have an idea for that. It helps to be able to write it down. And I know a lot of us can just throw that in notes on our phone, but there's just something nostalgic about using a pen and paper. The next item is going to be something they may have already and they may not. But for me, I really enjoy these systems. And that's going to be uh, Peak Design's camera strap or their camera leash. Now, the reason that I really like these specific products are because of these. These are the Peak Design anchors. These will clip onto your camera or whatever device you're trying to carry. I stick these on my camera bag, my camera, so that I can easily switch between them. And I have these on pretty much all my cameras so that I have one camera strap and I can just go from camera to camera to camera depending on what I want to carry that day. Peak Design, check out their systems. Now, the next item can be kind of split up a little bit. It's gonna be a case or memory card reader for their memory cards. Now, I like this one specifically. It's made by PGY Tech. It is a memory card case. Will hold up to four SD cards, four micro SD cards, two SIM cards, it has a SIM card tool remover, but also has a card reader in it. It's USB-C, it's 3.1. It's what I carry with me. I can easily upload my files from my camera straight onto my phone or computer this way. The other aspect of this is memory cards. You can never have too many and it always helps to have a few additional on hand. We're related to that too are SSD drives. Now these will be a little bit more expensive. They're gonna be just over hundred plus. So maybe if you wanna do a little bit of extra effort, one is none, two is one. You can always use another hard drive. Now, the last item that I want to talk about is going to be this. This is simply a little pouch. And inside here, I have a bunch of little basic tools. Now, this actually is my everyday carry. In here, I have a screwdriver, a wrench. I also have a pair of pliers and then a few Allen keys that I use for different items like my small rig arm or my suction cup or whatever I need. I have the tool for that. This is just something that a lot of people overlook and maybe it's not a camera lens or a filter or a camera, but it is something that I use fairly often when I'm trying to rig up a camera or just tighten something down a little bit. 
having the right tool will definitely make the difference and a lot easier and then have a lot less stress. And then of course, there's a ton of different ways to do it. A lot of different pouches, a lot of different tools. There you go. That's a few recommendations I have for you if you're looking for gift ideas for the photographer, content creator, videographer in your life. If you have any questions about any of these items or if you have a question on maybe more of a specific item for a specific camera system, let me know down in the comments and I'll do my best to help you out. And I guess I'm gonna wrap this up here. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. So you didn't go away, did you? I did wanna add a few little bonus items and the first one's gonna be this. This is an Instax camera, it's an instant camera. I love to use this. I capture a lot of my family moments. We'll stick them in a photo album. It's definitely something that is just fun to carry around, take pictures because you get them instantly. You still get that retro nostalgic feeling of having film. And then another bonus item is gonna be flashlights. Now for me, I've worked in the dark. I've worked in dark settings. Having a little pocket flashlight is definitely useful. I like O-lights. I have an i3T that I keep in my EDC pouch. I keep a iMini 2 on my keychain because you never know when you use it. I actually do use the one I have on my keys fairly often, especially now that it's darker out. It's just a little flashlight in the truck or if I'm walking somewhere. And then most recently, I picked up the Arcfield Pro. Now, I'm loving this as my EDC light. Something for me, if I'm taking photos at night, I can go ahead and put this on the moonlight mode. I think it's around five lumens. It doesn't destroy your night vision and doesn't really disturb what else I'm doing if I'm trying to take like a long exposure. You have your regular light, but also if you go ahead and switch this, this is now a 3R laser. And then if you switch it over one more time, it does do UV. So there you go, those are two bonus items. If you have any questions, as always, let me know in the comments and I'm really gonna wrap this up here. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.